Sometimes to say no can feel like you're against the grain, but all you're doing is revalidating your decision, your priority, and your business model, which can take a bold leader to say yes and to say no. Hello everyone, I'm Marcelo DeSantis, host of the Tech Series. Today, I am at the Angeles Investors Summit at Chicago at the PNC headquarters. I'm here today with... Jeff Martinez, head of branch banking at PNC. Tell me about what technologies are showing up in your business. What is helping yourself, your operations, and your customers? It's an interesting time not only here at PNC, but across the financial services industry. Mm -hmm. Technologies are a great thing, but it can also be somewhat scary. And so what we've tried to do at PNC is technology that amplifies the human connectivity. Mm -hmm. So in the terms of financial wellness, we want to make things easier. We're currently under a major revamp of our online platform. We continue to, again, amplify things that will get us to know our clients faster, more intimately, allow them to get to know us even better. AI is a way to understand and be able to facilitate things for our clients faster, being able to set appointments faster in a more creative mm -hmm. and intuitive way. In banking and at PNC, it's really about the human element and elevating the human element through technology, and all great things. Tell me about how you use AI in your personal life. I've enjoyed it. I am a paid member of ChatGPT, <laughs> and I often use it to really just start challenging my thinking. As we even heard today here at Angeles, authenticity is important. Mm -hmm. Well, it's tough to get authenticity when someone else is kind of the key catalyst in your thinking or in your thought process. So I like to work backwards with AI. Prove to me why this won't connect with others. What am I missing in my logic? I've used it to help validate or challenge my mm -hmm. thinking. That's allowed me to really take what either I want to convey, what I want to question in a much more thoughtful way. And I continue to be better and get better in those prompts. What leadership skills do you think executives need to embrace sure. to be able to lead their teams and their organization? We are in a curious age, and that means that what you knew yesterday may not be relevant or as relevant tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so I think for first, all leaders need to be curious. What is something that's going to be revolutionary or evolutionary? As we continue to think about technology and some of our younger employees, younger audiences, they're trying new things. And if we're just, again, stopped and, hey, my way is the only way and aren't spending time to really listen and ask questions, we're missing a lot of things. Not only are we missing the technology that can advance our business, we're missing the audience that mm -hmm. believes in that technology. Often it's again, it's meeting clients and your teammates where they are, not just where you are. And so again, strong listening, strong curiosity. And I think often it's also, there's a little bit of a bold thinking. Find a way to bring the human nature of your business in your first step or next step, MBAs, myself, others included, will have a long career still ahead. Wow, uh, I'm a customer of PNC. I'm looking for that new experiences, you know, coming live sure. soon. Thank you very much, Jeff. Very insightful. Thank you.